This is a video on trigonometry in a right angled triangle and when you try to find the sides. These are usually grade B questions at GCSE or level 8 at Key Stage 3. And quite most of the time these are calculator based questions but sometimes we get a bit old school and we use a table of values to try and do the question without a calculator. So in a trigonometry question the first thing we do is figure the where the triangle is. Now that's nicely drawn for us. I don't even need to read the stuff on here. I can just use the, the di diagram as it is. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label the hypotenuse. Then I'm going to look at the angle and label the opposite side to the angle. And then I'm going to label the adjacent side. Then I'm going to write my three trigonometry formulas. So I've got sine opposite hypotenuse, cos adjacent hypotenuse, tan opposite adjacent. In this question we're trying to work out the length of DE. Now DE is D to E is the opposite side and we are given the information for the adjacent side so we're not using the hypotenuse so we don't want a formula with a hypotenuse in. This formula's got a hypotenuse, this has got a hypotenuse so I'm going to be using the tan formula and using a formula triangle to find the angle, the tan, no not try to find the angle, find the opposite side. The opposite side is equal to the tan of the angle, tan of 50 times by the adjacent side which is 10. So we go to our table, we want the angles 50, we want the tan of the angle 1.192 1 and we're going to times that by 10 and that's why we don't need to calculate because we get the value from the table times it by 10 and we get 11.92 for 3 marks. Next question, again no calculator, we've got some values, we've got a, a third here, we've got a square root of 5 here, that shouldn't really face us too much. Um, this is only a 1 mark question, so the diagram shows the right angle triangle, circle the value of sine 26.6. So it's telling us what formula we're going to use, we're going to use sine of 26.6 and that's equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse and in this triangle this is our hypotenuse this is our opposite angle to the ang to the opposite the angle this is our adjacent we don't actually want the adjacent we just want the opposite side which is 1 and we want the hypotenuse which is square root of 5 and which of those match that that one Okay, we have a triangle, angle, side, calculate PR, so PR is this side here, and that's the hypotenuse, i call that X. So, using our formulas, sine OH, COH, TOA, Sokatoa, we want to find the hypotenuse when we're given the adjacent side, so we are not, I haven't actually labelled the sides, should have done that, hypotenuse, opposite adjacent. Okay, so we're not using the opposite side, so we can cross out any formula that has the opposite side in. So we're going to use this one, cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse, but we want to find the hypotenuse, so we want to find this. Okay, so that's the thing we cross out, and we're left with adjacent over the co cosine. So the hypotenuse, which is x, So x is equal to the adjacent, which is 12.6, over the cos of the angle 37. And we just type that straight into the calculator. 12.6 over the cos 37, close the brackets, and we get 15.8. Three significant figures. OK, we've got a question here which is trigonometry in a context. We have a ladder up against a wall. Now we're actually trying to do part B of this question. The first part of the question, which I'm going to do in a different video, is trying to find this angle given these two sides. But now we have the top of the ladder slips down the wall and the angle between the ladder and the wall is 48 degrees. The ladder's not going to change its length, um, but this is no longer 3.3 because it's slipped down the wall. And we want to know how far it goes up now is x. But the angle we're given is between the wall, the ladder and the wall. So the ladder and the wall is now 48 degrees. So it's slipped down until that's 48. So what we've got to do here is to label up our triangle. That's our hypotenuse. 
this is our opposite side and this will be our adjacent side and from there uh, we should be able to figure out that we need to use the cosine formula the cos adjacent hy uh, hypotenuse and we want to find the adjacent side so we've got to do the cos times the hypotenuse so the adjacent side we're going to call x is equal to the cos of 48 times by 4.1 Get the calculator over. So we've got cos 48, don't forget to close the bracket, times by 4.1, and that gives us 2.74 meters to three significant figures. So, so most trigonometry questions are grade B, but as soon as we go into three dimensions, it makes them a lot more tricky. So takes them up to the to the sort of highest level of GCSE that we can do. Now in this question it's worth five marks um, usually be one of the last questions on an exam paper. Um, we've got to find a diagonal PT so that's that length there. Now if I look at this from above I, if I knew what this side here was I could work out this diagonal because that would give me a right angle triangle. So if I look at this from above, above the wedge, we've got U, T, P and R, no, P and Q. This is 3.8, this is what we're trying to find PT. So if we can find this, then we can use a bit of uh, Pythagoras' theorem to find the hypotenuse. So to find that, if I look at this side, from the side of you, it's a very poor drawing, 6 degrees of Q R T, so I'm looking from the side here then I know this is 2.5 if I can find this, that's the Q T that I need in this, this part of the question, so we'll start with finding that value there, I'm going to call that X so in that triangle, where's my right angle there, my opposite side is the hypotenuse, which is what X is my um, sorry, my op my hypotenuse is this side. The opposite side is 2.5, and the adjacent side I'm not using. So I'm using opposite and hypotenuse, which is the sine rule. So the sine of the angle 6 equals opposite, which is 2.5 over the hypotenuse, which is x. Now, if you use the formula triangle, you could have written this straight out as just being x equals 2.5 over sine 6. I'm just going to show you a little trick algebra, with algebra you can do. If you've got uh, a whole number equals a fraction, you can swap the whole number and the bottom of the fraction round, and that makes no difference to the equation. So we've got 2.5 over sine 6 equals x. So we've got, oh, let's bring the calculator in. 2.5 divided by the sine of 6 gives me. 23.91 and some more stuff. Now I'm going to keep that value in the calculator and that's going to be my 23.9 there. Now to find this side I need to use some Pythagoras theorem where the, the hypotenuse c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now I'm going to call this a and this b. So a squared is 3.8 squared b squared is my 23.9 squared. I've still got my 23.9 in there. That's very useful to keep that in the calculator. Don't clear it. And now I'm going to square that answer. So that's my 23.9 squared. And I'm going to add 3.8 squared to get c squared equals 586. Some stuff there. So c is the square root of that which is going to be equal to the square root of the answer which is 24 point, let's just move that over here so I can write a bit more 24.216 so 24.2 to 3 significant figures